Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of It, I am Penge and welcome back to City Skylines and the One Road Challenge and we're so close to becoming a Metropolis, we're so close to achieving Metropolis status, Superman has practically moved in, he's flying over here right now to move into Metropolis, we've got 68,856 residents and that is going up at some great pace. Per week, 524 was the weekly change for last week. So do you know what? I kind of paused it because I thought if I jibber-jabber on too long at the start, it'll go over and it'll be a bit sad because, you know, I want to rejoice in the moment when we get to that 70,000 limit and then we become a metropolis. So let's just move time on a little bit. So last time out, we kind of started working on down here. We worked on down here and this bit has come on actually pretty nicely. It's come on far better than I thought it was going to. Lots of people are moving in. There are still some areas that we need to work on. Let's move it on full speed. Why not? Let's get to that 70,000 people quicker than we're just you know, running it on one speed. So uh, yeah, we need to fill this out a little bit. We need to fill this out. I don't think they're zoned in any way, are they? No, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of zoning over here to do with the uh, low density residential stuff. And then other than that, it's all sort of, it's all free. It's all a free for all. We could put whatever we like in there. So currently there's a little bit of demand for commercial. A little bit of demand for commercial. So let, let's put some commercial in. Let's put a bit, actually, can we put any more over here? Oh, I don't think we can put any more over there, can we? I don't think that's going to work. Do you know what? That bit hasn't been taken, has it? This little bit here hasn't been taken. Let's put a bit of high density commercial just there because if it's nearer to this street, this old market street, whatever it's called, what is it? Yes, old market street, yoldy market streeties, um, that uh, gives a boost to commercial areas that are nearby. So you know what? If we put a thing there and some commercial moves into there, there we go, look. Shop till you drop center. <laughs> is that saying the right message? I don't know. But there you go. So shop till you drop center is going to come here. And because it's nearby to this, it will give us a little cash boost, which is very welcome. So yeah, let's let's zone this bit out. Let's get this bit sorted. We'll fill that up. And then we kind of have a little bit of work to do over here as well, because this is also quite empty. There's a big gap there. So yeah, let's sort this bit out first. There's so many boats. <laughs> There's so many boats. I love how they don't bother with kind of collision. They don't bother with collision stuff in City Skylands. They're just like, yeah, whatever. The, the boats can just drive into each other. It's absolutely fine. Look, woo, there you go. How many people are on that? 58, 100, 100, 100. There's so many tourists. There are so many tourists. But okay, let's sort this bit out then. Now, what we might need to do is we might need to put something kind of exciting down here. This bit's lacking. I want to put a fancy pants thing down here. What can we put down here? None of those things because they're a bit too big. How about one of these? One of these. The Statue of Industry. The Statue. What's that? These are all statues. The Statue of Wealth. Which was one of the terrifying ones? The Plaza. The Plaza of the Dead. Uh, I don't think I want to put the Plaza of the Dead in. Let's have the Statue of Wealth because we're coming up to two million monies again. So let's let's put that in. Can we tuck that in at the end just there? Yes, perfect. So the Statue of Wealth goes in. It's a, a little bit sort of <laughs> self-aggrandizing, but there we go. And then let's put in some high density residential stuff along here. So we'll have a bit just there. Uh, and I think a bit just there. Down here, do we want to put a couple more schools in? What's our school provision like? Oh, it's quite terrible. It's quite terrible. Do you know what? Putting a school down here as well. Yay! We got there! Do you know what? That took a little bit longer than I thought. I think our growth sort of slowed down a bit and then it sped up again. That is jolly good. We got to Metropolis. We're at metropolis size city and we're on one road. It's just ludicrous. Okay. Okay, so as well as it obviously being, yay, very exciting, and we get given quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of monies for that as well, I believe. I think that's pushed us over 2 million. We're obviously at 70,000. That's very exciting. More exciting. We get to have an airport and a cargo airport. Yes. Oh, it's joyous. It's glorious. Okay, okay. And we can buy another bit of land if we so wish. I don't really think we need to. I don't think we need to buy any more land, but okay, that's fine. So we can do if we like, right. So time goes back to slow. So let's put a school just here. Let's just put another couple of schools in because this might encourage more people to move in. So we'll have a school there and a school just there. And let's put one of these in as well. How about we have, uh, what's that one? A community school, an alternative to an elementary school. They're the first ones, aren't they? Yeah, let's put one of those in as well. Why the heck not, eh? There we go. Lovely, lovely. Some nice educational stuff. And then I'm going to put a park down here as well. In fact, can we put one of the little plazas in? A plaza with trees. Yeah, why the heck not? Let's put that there. And that might encourage people to move in along here when we get there. Right, come out of that. Thank you. So 
Uh, then we'll put in... I think we'll put in a bit of commercial. Just that there is a big demand for commercial. Big... Well, not big. It's bigger than the other non-existent demands. And then we'll put that in. And then we'll put that in. And do you know what? That can be that as well. Oh, I've left a little bit out there. There we go. We'll fill that in as well with some uh, low-density stuff. So I think... That that should be quite good. That'll take off, I hope. I really hope that takes off. Right along here as well, with that bit's kind of filled up almost with um with IT stuff. Have they still got the toilets building? <gasps> no. What were they? Good reads or something? Smart reads ink. They might have been oh, oh oh no, I think I think that is that building is the same height as that one. I think that building is exactly the same height. Oh, and these ones maybe as well. So who are you? Who are you next door? Smart reads ink. And your Smart Reads Inc. Okay, Smart Reads Inc. have a thing for tall buildings. Right, you are. And Smart Reads Inc. <laughs> Smart Reads Inc. I wonder what this one's going to be. Smart Reads Inc. Oh, goodness me. What a what a, what a terrible surprise that was. Uh, uh, what's that? Magic Park? Oh, the, the, the amusement park. Oh, that's exciting. Rotating teacups and piggy train. Well, I mean, absolutely. We're going to do that right now. We're going to put these into Magic Park. Uh, where were they? They're in uh, there and I believe there. Okay, so we've got, what do we have? Teacups. That's always good. Teacups are always a good, they're always a good thing. So we'll put some just there. We'll have two lots of teacups because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Uh, so we'll put those there and those there. And then, what was that? The piggy train. I'm intrigued with piggy train. I'm going to, I'm going to put piggy train on the way in just there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll have a, we'll have a path kind of going up that way I think just to sort of break things up a little bit and then we might need a path kind of coming up from the middle just here as well just a little bit like that for now and then we can start working on the path around the middle okay what was what was piggy train what does piggy train look like oh it's a little teeny tiny kind of roller coaster hello little person running around what's your name Oh, you're just alligator mascot. Okie dokie, right you are. Um, so look, he just goes round and round and there's a little sort of, there's some trees and a little sort of, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be, a pigsty, I guess, that it goes under. That's that's quite charming. And then and then the teacups, obviously, obviously teacups. They just spin around and you go in them and then you vomit. Brilliant. Well, isn't that fun? <laughs> there we go, everyone. Uh, so we're almost on 71,000 people. So it's just going, it's just constantly going up. I don't have to do much. Look, people sort of aren't really moving in here too quickly, but it's working. Now, what has triggered the power to there? Because these were all out of power. Oh, it's a little building just that. Oh, well, well done. Whoever you are, the, <laughs> the slightly un unexcitingly named commercial centre, well done. Because you have powered up this whole area with schools and buildings and all sorts of exciting things. So yeah, well done. Well done you. So people are moving in there as well. Slowly but surely, people are sort of coming in. Right, I think, I think, we'll go over here now. We'll go just here. This bit here, I want to zone out. Let's pause it for a second. Let's have high-density commercial stuff along there, and there, and there, and there. And then we'll mix it up with some low-density commercial stuff there. And we are going to draw ourselves a district over that bit and this is going to be kind of an entertainment area because this is where people are coming in. They're going to come off the off the boat. Yeah, you know, they might want to go and go and see whatever entertainment or leisure options we've got or whatever. Now the only thing is actually is it, no, do I want no? I want tourism here, don't I? I want tourism. Hang on, what are the options? Yeah, we've got a tourism. Yeah, tourism specialization. So it serves the tourists, and tourists are coming in in their absolute loads in here and their boat loads. So yeah, let's get ourselves. A tourist specialization just there. Okay, so I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind a leisure specialization. Can we can we fit a, le a leisure specialization in anywhere? I don't know. What what's there? What's just here? Is that anything? That is not really taken off, has it? Right, hang on. Let's unzone that. Let's zone that out as high density, and then we'll draw a tiny, <laughs> tiny little district over that, and go we like so, like that. Bedford's, uh, Bedford Square, it's clearly not square, but okay. And then we'll put that as a leisure thing. There we go. So the people here can have some leisure to go to. Okay. Uh, right, so we need to rename that. So Bedford Square, that is a silly name. And what did that one get called? Magnolia Heights. No, they're both terrible names. Right, let's change these. 
So I thought I'd keep it simple. That one can be just party on because there might be some party things there. And this one over here is called not extorting tourists because clearly we're not extorting the tourists at all. They're going to come here and find very, very, very well priced, reasonably priced things. You know, in no way we're going to absolutely fleece them for every penny they've got because they're tourists and they've arrived by a boat. So let's see if any of this takes off. I mean, right now it's, oh, there you go. Yes, we've got something. Crest Resorts. This is going to be hotels. There are going to be so many hotels along here. Now, what is along here? Is there anything along that bit? There is not. Can we put that there? And then can we stretch out the uh, the district? Can we put it along there? Yes, we can. So they might get like hotels along there, like fancy hotels. And here come, here come boatloads of tourists to make use of to make use of our exciting new touristy area. Crest Resorts, next to Crest Resorts again. It's not exactly the best business planning, but there we go. Right, that has what another Crest Resort, so good. Okay, that seems to have taken off quite well. The Party On District has uh, fared less well. There is one thing moved in and it, hang on, no, is that another one there? No, that's a law firm. No, it, it's just space bowling, just, just space bowling. That is it, that's the only thing that's in, which is a bit of a shame, but there we go. Right, now demand for residential is creeping up a little bit and a tiny bit for industry as well. Okay, that is intriguing. So what I think we do now... Oh, I know what I thought we could do. I remember thinking this at the end of the last part. Don't we have somewhere... Is it in here? A floating cafe. Is that it? Yes, a floating cafe. Now, we couldn't get this to work over on the river, but maybe just here, I did think we've got something very close to the road just there, but even closer just there if we can position that in just the right spot so as soon as it turns green we can drop that in so hang on, hang on, hang on. move it over a little tiny bit tiny bit tiny bit tiny bit there if we put that no it's gone back to red if we put that there does that count as though that has a road connection because it needs a road connection i think it does yep yeah, there's some dirt there's some dirt next to it which is close enough to the path which means that that is a road connection there we go i mean how you get to the cafe from just there, I'm not sure. That's quite some drop. <laughs> Do you dive in or what? I don't know. And it looks pretty shallow down here. I mean, it's very high up, but this water looks shallow. I would not recommend diving in. So I don't know how you get to here, but whatever the case, there you go. That's that's what it is. I'm not, I'm not calling it floating cafe. Also, I can't get rid of the thing. There we go. But there we go. Got that in. That's that's good. That's another sort of little, a little thing to make people happy. It's a little touristy thing. That's all lovely. How is tourist land doing? Oh my goodness me. Wow. Okay, that, that has worked very, very well indeed. The Fiesta Hotel, Club Chatton. Okay, fine, whatever. You gotta cater for everyone's taste. Another Club Chatton, Club de la Creme. Oui, bonsoir, le pomme de fruits dans ma tête, or whatever. I don't know. Crest Resort. There's a lot of Crest Resorts. Your Choice Hotel. Wow, there's so many things. What's that? The Kitty Cat Cafe. Nothing. Oh, no, there is something along here. There is something along here next to the industrial area. Hey, come to Crest Resorts. <laughs> come to this place and get polluted as you come on holiday. Yay. Um, I don't think, I do not believe we need those power lines anymore either. Let's get rid of those while we're here. So, bosh, bosh, bosh. Just get rid of those power lines. They are not required. Uh, get rid of all those. Yeah, I know. There's some there as well. Right. So, they're all gone, which is fine. Oh, no, they're not all gone. They're all gone now. Uh, lovely. Right. Now, I'm just going to check... Are the trains still working? Is it still looking busy over in train land? Uh, yes, there is a train sat there. Oh, that one's being loaded. That one's being loaded. That one is moving in. Okay, so it's looking busy. It's looking quite busy in terms of trains, but that's a good thing. We've not got a queue, have we? Have we got a queue? We have got a queue of trains. How big is the queue of trains? Oh, the queue. Oh, okay. <laughs> the queue of trains is quite big. Uh, yeah, that that that's quite that's quite a lengthy queue of trains coming in there, and we obviously only have the one line. In keeping with the one the sort of road challenge, I, I've kept with the one rail track challenge sort of thing as well. And yeah, that that's taking quite a long time. What's taking the actual time? Uh, you are. Is that thing moving? Are any of these ones on this side moving? They're moving. That side's going pretty pretty nicely. It's this side that's the problem. Why is that side not going anywhere? Hello? Uh, it's you. You just there. This train here, this freight train, is holding everything up because it's just not going anywhere. Hello? Can you move, please? 
Are they bringing things in? I don't fully understand what's going on here. Why is that not going anywhere? Do you know what? I can obliterate the... Oh, no, 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 he's going. He's going. He's going. Right, lovely. But that, is it that one? No, it's not that one. It's the one's going the other way. Oh, I don't know. We've got some serious train congestion going on. I'm not really sure what's happening. Okay, do you know what? I think they're working it out. I think they're working it out. It's all good. Okay, what we need to do now is we need to get ourselves airports. We need airports. Look at all the dead symbols. <laughs> look at them all. In fact, no, don't look at them all. This is embarrassing. There we go. Look this way. Look at the beautiful ocean and the lovely boats full of passengers. Happy tourists waiting to come here and spend their monies. So yeah, let's let's get airports in. Now I want to build, again, I want to build a little bit just here. I want to build a little sort of uh, area like we've got over here. Just so we can sort of flesh it out and all that kind of stuff and make it look a little bit more interesting. And you know, we've got industry just here. We can put industry along that way. So that, that'll be okay. I bet we don't need those power lines either. So let's build this bit up a little bit. Nope, that's entirely the wrong road. Let's go to... Is that going to work? Yep, that's fine. All right, we're going to have to get rid of those power lines. Power lines, away with you. Away, away, away. Now, is that thing going to be powered on its own? I don't think it is. I don't think that is near enough to be powered by anything. No. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll put those back in for you then. Picky, picky. There you go. Oh, it needs power. I want to have the lights on in my big castle. So, let's do this then. I'll zone this road out so it's kind of interesting. We'll put it up to... Let's make it halfway along there like that. And then we'll have a bit here. And the thing is, now airports. How do the airports work? Hang on, hang on. Planes, 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 planes. How do they work? Do I need to attack? Like, do they just slot onto the side of the road? Uh, yes, they do. Okay, right. They just fit onto the side. So as long as I build somewhere a road with a big enough gap on either side, I should be able to fit them in. Maybe they could go opposite each other. Maybe they could go opposite each other. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, yes. I'm looking at the airports. Okay, right. So let's just make this interesting. Let's make a little exciting bit of sort of uh, exciting little bit of uh, road area and we'll see what we can do from there. Okay, so we've got this. We've got this little sort of nice jiggity-jaggedy road bit. Now, I think we might need to plan ahead, which is something, something that terrifies me. We don't normally do much in the way of planning. I think we need to buy this tile. This road here is going to be the one that is going to be reconnected at the other end of the one road city. So everyone at the minute comes on here. They come on here. They join the road just here where they are welcomed by... Hang on, how can that... A dead person is waiting for transport at the arch... Well, that's no way to welcome the, the people to our city, is it? Hey, everybody, ignore the corpse. I do apologise. Could you not move them out of the way? <laughs> can, we not just, can we not just put them over there somewhere? Just hide them behind the tree or something? How is someone dead at the arch? Okay, fine. Well, whatever the case. <laughs> that's very silly. So people get on here. So they come off the road. They get on here. They drive all the way around this gigantic twisting road with many bridges and it comes down here and they get to just there and they turn around and then drive all the way back again, which seems very silly. So what we need to do is we need to reconnect it back up over here with a similar arrangement to this so people can get on here and go along the road and then get off there if they so wish. They can get off you know, over this way. They can drive all the way around and get off here. Or join here and get off here. So yeah, there'll have to be an entrance and an exit or something, which is very exciting. So I think what we need to do is expand into this tile. And then that means also, if we buy that, whatever, it's an absolute pittance. I'm not really bothered about the cost. So come out of that. That also means we have a nice big bit of space here for airports. Because I think our airports need to be near the road. I think they need to be near this road connection. So let's get this thing here, the road coming up here. We might have it coming up like that and then going up there. And this bit, we might make us a little sort of a mini tourist hub, tourist and industry hub over here because we have cargo stuff and passengers. So make a little bit here and then uh, we're probably done. I mean, we're on, we only need 10, I say only, we only need 10,000 more people. 10,000 more people and we become a whatever it is, a, a megalopolis. So... I mean, that. I think we need to do this now. We need to do this now. So let's bring this up here as near as we can to there. Then bring it across like that. And I think what we need to do is we need to go kind of an angle and go underneath. Let's go under as well because cause, cause bridges just haven't worked very well for me in the past. So we'll have a bit there and then back up like that. And I think we have, if we have a straight bit going to say 
there. We could put the airports on either side. I assume there's enough room. Do you know what? There might not be quite enough room. Let's move it to there and move it over a bit. And then I think if we put a straight bit... Uh, no, let, no, let's not have a straight bit there. Let's have the bit where we could put some industry and some commercial stuff. We might even need a little residential area over that way somewhere. So let's sort of build this little bit out. A tiny bit, just like this, just so we can have some stuff around. And then we'll build another row going up there. And the airports can go on either side. I do need to make sure that we can still connect that. Because we're going to need the, whatever it is, clover leaf interchange, whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called. The interchange, it looks a bit like that thing. And we're going to need a roundabout as well. Okay, fine. Right, so we need. I need to plan that out slightly better than my normal planning, which is just a little bit ramshackle. But you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Let's build this bit up first. So it doesn't really particularly matter what this looks like. This is a sort of a, a token gesture to make this just not be rubbish. So let's put this up here. And that bit can come around that way. We'll have another bit coming up here. Another bit. Uh, I know that matches to that, doesn't it? And then I think we bring that along and then down and then along to there and then up there. So I think that might be what we do. And then we put the airports there, cloverleaf thingamabob road section there, roundabout here, all done. Okay, right. Okay, can we put the airports in right now? Just because I want airports, because I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, child in a sweet job. Let's press the right button. Uh, there we go. So. This is... Oh, they make noise, don't they? Of course they do. Right, we must must make sure that we avoid the noise. Right, okay. So we can have one there. So which one's that? That's the passenger one. That Yeah, that's the passenger airport. So we'll put that sort of there, like so. Yes, we've got airports on the cargo airport on the other side. Because, because why not? Just put it on the other side. That'll do. So let's put that there. Okay, we've got airports. We've got airports. It's very exciting. Right, okay, right. We need to do the essential stuff. So let's get that. Uh, I don't think it's very sensible to have a power line going across a runway. I don't think that's an advisable thing. Let's just do that for now, shall we? That'll do. Okay, so all that's in. Right, these whole new bits are going to need water. They're going to need water and power and all that kind of stuff. But more importantly, water we can do right now. So let's go and do water. Get all these plumbed in. Okay, all the water pipes are in. Now, what we need to do is, I kind of overlooked our underground network a little bit, haven't I? I don't think I've got anything over here that we could do with something near that castle. So now, let's go through and do this. Let's go through. Oh my goodness me, somebody's dead at the castle as well. <laughs> Can everybody stop dying at my landmarks, please? It's going to put people off. Is there anyone else dead anywhere in my important buildings? The luxury hotel seems to have avoided death thus far. Can everybody just stop dying at important landmarks, please? <laughs> oh, that's just not good at all. That is not good at all. Unless, unless, you know, maybe we hung them off the ramparts or something. I mean, it is, it is a sea fortress. It is a castle in the water. Maybe they've done something naughty and we're hanging off there. Maybe we caught a pirate. That's what it is. <laughs> we caught ourselves a pirate and we're hanging him from a gibbet or something. Okay, so let's get ourselves. Let's get back on track, back on track. Come on, man, focus. Let's get these in. Let's get a few underground things in. So that would make sense to go there. Uh, yes, that one could come across, right across to the end of there. So yeah, let's make another one. There. Um, yeah, there. Put another one of those there. We'll have one. Whoa, it doesn't really go up in a line there, does it? I've, my, my plan my plan for lovely, lovely angular things has gone all wrong. Do you know what? It's fine. That goes across there. That's okay. We'll have one going to... There. Now, will that go across, though? So that, hang on, hang on. Let's connect that up. So that is going to go to there. The, oh, no, it's got to go out into the sea. <laughs> hang on, hang on. We'll get it. Oh, that's too steep. Can we can we connect it in any way that isn't too steep? Uh, no, that's a little bit irritating, isn't it? Into there and into... There you go. That, that's beautiful. That, that is the way of doing it. <laughs> that, I've got to have a better thing than that. How about just like that? Yeah, there we go. That's that's probably far better. Let me delete these these shambolic bits. There we go. Bye-bye, shambles. There we go. Away it goes. And destroy that. Destroy the front. Okay, there we go. That's better. So then if we connect that up with that, that's fine. Then we kind of want one over there. That can join that. Right, so let's put one quite nearby to that one. But it's still fine. It still might save people a lot of travel time. Because bear in mind, this is all on one silly road. That can then... Connect to space is already occupied. What? By by what exactly? By by what? 
Uh, oh, okay. Maybe I was doing something silly with it. Okay, like that. So that connects to that. And then that one could connect to... We need something to connect to up there. Hang on, is that a tube station? That's one just there. That connects to that pretty... Per the space is already occupied. Why? Why Why are you occupied space? Um, oh, there's a line. Is that a tube line? No, that's, a, oh, that's, a, that's the train tunnel. Is that the train tunnel that's coming through? Or is it a tube line that's not... Oh, no, that's a tube line that's not used. I'm a bit scared of doing that. What's that going to demolish? Is that going to demolish? What's that demolishing? There's too many things along this line. I don't like. I don't like that. What's that demolishing? Um, right, hang on. I'm, I'm going I'm to go and save it just in case by me demolishing that, I'm demolishing the wrong things. Okay, I think it's this. I think I need to demolish the things which are smaller. Like that, I think is the um, is the blimp pathway. I don't think we want to demolish that. I think it's that bit there, like that. So here we go. Right, let's press the button. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. That's got rid of that. That's got rid of that. Yeah. So it's it. Yeah. I must have built that in total error and then and then completely forgot about it, which yeah, is fine. That you kind of come to expect that. So that can go up there just fine. Lovely. That one can connect to that one, even though it's a little bit a little bit wonky, but it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, now what's occupying that one? What's in the way of this? <laughs> Why are there so many things in the way? Oh, no, that's fine as well. We'll connect that to that. Okay, so that's connected in. Right, lovely. That's all that bit done. So I can go and put stuff on there in a bit. I can go and connect them up and do what have you. Put the uh, lines in. Now, what about over here? Because the airport is going to be sort of out on its own. It's not really near anything. It's going to connect up over here via the road. So, yeah, we need to bring that in. We need to get some more of these in. So, right, hang on. We can expand. Can we put that there? And that could connect to, say, over... It'd make more sense if that road moved along a bit. Hang on. Hang on. Let's move the road just out a tiny bit, like so. And then we can get ourselves one of those right next to the airport. Yes. Okay, do you know what? Possibly should have put it on the other side. That's the cargo thing. Yeah, destroy that. It's fine. Uh, hang on. Right there. It's not like we're short of a few quid, is it? There we go. On that side. And then we'll bring that in to, say, on that corner. And then we'll have a bit there... And a bit, I don't know, there. Why not? That'll do. Right, and then we'll connect those up. So you need to connect via, say, there to... No, that, not that side. That side. Nope, that's that's not happy with me doing that, is it? It's just not, it's just not happy. That's happy. Yay, yay for happy. So that connects to there. And then that, that one down there can connect to there. That can go there. That can go there. Oh, this is this is this is it's like a work of art. It's like a a work of art drawn by a two-year-old. But there we go. It's fine. And look, that looks lovely. And I mean, I could in theory connect that to that, but but no, no, no. I'm not going to connect that to that. So there we go. Right now, I'll go and put all the lines in, and it is done. And I think that looks mighty marvelous. Like it's all in. I put another couple of uh, couple of uh, stations down there just to kind of fill that bit in. But there we go. It's looking very good. So now all that's in, what we need to do is we need to fill this up with lovely, lovely things. So we've got an airport over here. Do we want to fill this bit up first or this bit? I'm kind of inclined to sort of work on this bit over here, I think. I want to get this bit all done and that can fill up quite nicely. Another 10,000 people are required. So over here, what do we want to put in? Well, we want quite a lot of the crematorium things. We need quite a lot of those. We have learned that. Certainly, if we've learned anything in this playthrough is that we need lots of those there we go a big block of them down there should help out and then we'll put maybe a few along here as well we'll drop maybe four in over that way and then we'll put some over here as well because you can never be too careful more of these more of those right okay that's good now somewhere somewhere we do need to put down a couple more uh, garbage incinerator things how about can we fit them in just here can we fit one in just there and one just there. That will take out the power. But I imagine that will then provide power to just there. So that's fine. And then this bit, we'll put, start putting residential around here. Okay, so that's fine. Then we're going to need stuff like this. So we're going to need to put a hospital in. And all that kind of stuff. So let's put a hospital in. Which of these don't we have? Have we got a sports hall? We probably haven't got a sports hall. Let's put a sports hall in. Yay for sports halls. Right, fire HQ. Let's put one of those in. Whatever, just there. That'll do. Uh, police headquarters as well. Let's drop one of those in up there. Splendid. 
weird uh, schooly things. Let's put some of these down as well because education is good. So I'll put one there and one, uh, I was going to say opposite, but there's already a building there, so that'll do. Uh, and then like parks and things. So right, what can we have? How about whatever that is? A Japanese garden like that. Um, can we come out of that view? That'd, that'd be nicer. Then I can see what's going on. But no, that's the transport view. It's taking me back to that. It's quite hard to see where things are. It's quite hard to see where the road is. But okay, fine. Uh, what's that? A dog or oh, dog park? I bet people would love a dog park. Yeah, let's put that on the end there. So like so. That'll spread out and be quite a nice sort of distance. And then something down here as well. Let's put a big fancy building down here. Let's have a big fancy pants building down here. Okay, what can we have? The transport tower... It's not very exciting, is it? What can we have that's fun? Ah, lungs of the city. People will like that. People will come to see the lungs of the city. It's over by the sea. It's beautiful. Uh, and then, what else can we have over there? Can we have something else nice and ecological? A ziggurat garden. Yes, let's put that on the opposite corner. There we go. And that's kind of two natural things. So that's a big garden. And that's a lovely kind of big foresty thing. That's very good. Okay. Right, I'm happy with that. Then we just need to zone it out with some things. So we want to get... Oh yeah, we want sort of high-density commercial stuff there, there. We'll leave that blank. We might put a little bit there. That might be quite nice. People can nip in and buy something from there. And then we'll have high-density, high-density, high-density like that. We'll have a bit of low-density on the end there and there. Then we need some commercial stuff, just so you know people can go and buy, yeah, you know, like little tiny shops. So if we fill that in with low density commercial, that can go to high density. As can that. As can that. As can that. This can be low density stuff all the way around here, because why not? Down to here, that can be low density as well, because it's nice. Uh, that can be high. As can that. And we'll see how that goes. So let's see how that goes. Uh, is that going to do anything? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the take up is going to be on that. We'll see. Right. So time time is moving on. Time is pushing forward. Lots of things are out of power. This is to be expected because nowhere is getting any power. Hang on. Hang on. Possibly need to look at that. Uh, where are we going to get the power from? Over here. Um, see, people are moving in. People Could somebody move in, say, over here and here? That would be really helpful. Hang on. Could we... Could we get ourselves a thing like that and then run that to there? That might help because I can just peep in just there. Look, once that power kicks in, some point today. Yep, there we go. Bosh, 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 bosh. Lots of those things are powered. Right, none of those things are powered. We just need more people to move in. We need more people to move in. Oh, and we've, we've, got, we've suffered a bit of a massive financial loss just there. A massive financial loss because we've outlaid all this very expensive stuff. I mean, I don't know how expensive that is. 720 a week, 1,440, so that's like 2,000. Plus all these aren't going to be cheap, are they? They're 1,000 a week. Oh my goodness, we probably spent all our money on, on these things. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, we could do with some people moving in really, really soon. If people could move in very soon, that'd be great. Oh, and that's just out of range of getting powered up. There we go, there we go. And that'll power those two buildings up as well. That will power up whatever you are, the buy-it-all shop. Okay, so we've got some stuff powered up. What's going on over here? It all looks good. The touristy bit looks good. Not extorting tourists is looking pretty good. A lot of stuff for workers over there. Work is required, but we are putting more residential in. Okay, okay. How are we looking for people? 76,000. How are airports doing? Hello, shiny airports. Are there any planes coming in? Any planes at all? Hello, any aeroplanes? No, that's a bit of a shame. I wanted it to be an aeroplane. Okay, uh, so... So, how many have they served? Nothing. No passengers served over the last week. And that has that done anything? Uh, oh, no, that doesn't, have a, that doesn't have a value on that one. So, we've got an airport, and it's doing utterly nothing. Oh, good. <laughs> well, isn't that brilliant? Okay, maybe one day, maybe one day in the distant future, an airplane will come in, and that will be a very exciting thing. We'll keep an eye on that. Do you know what? I mean, things are going quite nicely. Time is running as fast as it can go. The population is increasing. 376. What's coming up next? 433. So it's working. The population is going up. People are presumably moving in over there slowly but surely. Yeah, I can see a little water thing, which means that's a new house being built. So yeah, that is working. So let, let's wait here until a plane arrives or until I get a bit bored. There's an aeroplane. There is an aeroplane. There's two aeroplanes. Okay, how many people are on this plane? 
200 people, 200 passengers. Hello, hello, welcome. And that's got 180 people on it. Hang on. Um, oh no, there's nothing, there's nothing zoned over there. I got a bit worried there. I was thinking, oh no, people are going to be moving out. But no, that's fine. They're not power, but they don't need to be. They're crematoriums that we're paying quite a bit for. But look at that. The money has come straight back in. The money has come in. So we must be, we must be earning a bit of uh, money from people moving in over here. Oh, we just need something in the middle just here. We just need something just there. Do you know what? I'm going to put, I'm just going to put any old thing down. Hang on. Let's find, uh, a, what's that? What's that? A basketball court. Yeah, everyone loves a basketball court. Go and play basketball. Hopefully that will link up with the power and you can all go basketball. Yes. Perfect. Okay, right. And that means there's a massive load more crematoriums as well. So these things should all spring into life very soon. Lots of vehicles should pour forth out of these. Come on. Come on. Let's see how many vehicles come out of these. Now, is that a crematorium? Yeah, look. Lots of crematorium vehicles going. Okay, right. So you're going to go and pick up a dead person from Crest Resorts. Oh, dear. That is not the holiday you want to have, is it? Right. But look, that's all building up quite nicely. It's lovely and woody around here. It's nice and woody. It's lovely over this bit of the world. There's all nice trees and things. Very nice. Have they got rid of the dead person at the castle? Yes. How about the gate? Have they got rid of the dead person at our gate yet? Uh, I think they have. Uh, oh, no. There's, there's a dead... Hang on. There's a dead person there. Maybe they just... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they move the per the dead person from the gate into the pharmacy just to get them out of the way. Maybe that's what happened. But okay, that's fine. Whatever. That that's a good thing. As long as people don't come into the city and are immediately greeted by a corpse, that is absolutely fine. Right? How many people are on that plane? Another two hundred passenger service last week. Is it? Whoa! 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 <laughs> you should call it. You two. You two should call it. Although blue plane is... Oh, no, there you go. There you go. Green plane pulled rank there. Said, no, you wait there, blue. I'm going in first. It's only got 37 people in it. You you should possibly just slow down. And no vehicle collisions. It's so odd. <laughs> it's very weird. Right. Okay. 78,231 population. I think... I think it's time we connect this up now. I think it's time we reconnect the other end of the one road city to the main highway. Okay, so I've paused time to do this because we're going to obliterate large sections of road. Hang on, can I get a bit where there's nobody on it? Can I get a quieter bit? I don't think I'm going to be able to. Like, there's always going to be somebody on this road. That bit looks good. That bit looks good. Nice quiet bit just there on this side anyway. Oh, do you know what? Whatever. They'll, they'll just sort of vanish and reappear wherever they have to. It's all good. Right, so we'll do that. We'll knock that down. Right, roads. Roady road, road intersections. Right, it was one of these. A clover leaf intersection. In fact, do I even need one of those? I need a three-way intersection. I don't need it to go four ways. I need it to go three ways. So, right, hang on. So bring that round like uh, like that. Or oh, just a notch that way. Yep, perfect. I think that's beautiful. Uh, it's a little bit wobbly for us down here near the near our airport. That's the only thing. Hang on. Right. I'm going to push that. Let Joe you know what? Let's build the roundabout first. <laughs> Let's build the roundabout first. So the roundabout there is... That's a, like a three-lane highway roundabout, isn't it? That's what that is. So we need to build ourselves the roundabout first, and then we'll readjust all of the road to fit what we need. So, right. Roundabout. Uh, a large... Yeah, there. Large roundabout. Don't mind if it's a large roundabout or not, because we don't really care about this bit right now. So let's clip that to there. That's fine. That will work. That That's a beautiful thing. Right, click. And now we need to change. I don't like what that's done there. So we'll go to here. We'll grab that. We'll upgrade that road to be our road that we want, which is lovely. And then we don't need that and that. So we can demolish those bits from the roundabout. We need to check my road name. I need to check, what's it become now? What is it now? Walker Avenue. Oh, dearie me. Why can't they just stick with some, my proper name? So we'll have that going up to that. That will then need to connect to the clover leaf, Not the clover leaf, That intersection thing. Whatever that is. The three-way intersection bit. So that will need to connect to wherever that's going to go. And then the city is still built on the one road. And then we can connect to it this way. Okay. So we'll do that to, say, there. Okay, okay, right. I, I've, I've got this. This is all under control. It's all fine, everybody. Uh, the Lee Highway. Okay, so what did we do with this? It's just a three-lane roundabout. That's all it is. It's a three-lane roundabout. 
So you get off of the, the junction, you get off of the, at the junction, you join the three lane roundabout. That's what that is. That's what that is. Okay, right. So now if we go here and we get ourselves some motorway bits, is it that one? Highway. Yeah, highway. Sorry, motorway, highway. You know what I mean. Um, and then we connect that to... Ugh, that to... Uh, how about that to there? That's a horrible way of doing it. But okay, fine. Do you know what? I'm happy with that. That looks that actually looks quite symmetrical. <laughs> I'm amazed. And then we just need to obliterate the road, say, all the way up to there. And then bring it into this intersection. So there we go. A little, little bit of uh, road maintenance going on whilst people are still using it. But do you know what? It's City Skylands and it lets you do that. And that's fine by me. So we'll demolish all this stuff. Bish, bash, bosh. Right. Reconnect that to there. And that to there. Splendid. And then that connects to there. And that connects to there. And that is a thing of beauty. The, the one road city is reconnected at the other end. At <laughs> long last. Right, hang on. Where is... No, not Dale Avenue. Why do you torment me? Geekabit Boulevard. There. Copy. Dale Avenue, whatever you're called. Right, away with you. Geekabit Boulevard for all of it. Until it gets to the roundabout. No, not Walker. Why has it got a different name? Why has it got a different name? Where does Walker Avenue begin? Oh, it's there. Walker Tunnel. Right, okay. No, again, that's still Geek of a Boulevard. Even though it's a tunnel, I'm calling it a boulevard. And that carries on all the way through there. We've got shrubs in the road, but you know what? I don't really care now. And that comes up here. And then we get the, the Lee Highway, which is the roundabout. And then it joins here. And then you can go on your merry way. Yes. It's in. So the Holly Hunt Highway and the Hancock Highway. They love the, the H alliterative here. <laughs> <laughs> well, highway's supposed to begin with an H. Okay, fine. So that's in. Now, is it? what are these cars going to do? This could be an interesting thing. What are all these cars going to do? <laughs> it's a massive load of cars. Let's sit and watch. If we must move time on, they just vanish out of existence. These ones join the road that's sort of nearest. Okay, now are they going to come in? Are they going to come in here? No. No, they're not. They're just going to go and do whatever the heck it is they need to do. They're going to go over this way somewhere. Okay, fine. Well, there you go. Join the thing. Now, which way are you going? Yes, you're joining the other side. <gasps> but look, there's cars coming in. There's cars coming in. Now, again, this is all fine. The city is built on this one road. No, nothing is going to be built here. No housing, no buildings, no anything is going to be built on the edge of this roundabout or over here. So the city is still built on this one big long road. But now you can go in and out in two different ways <laughs> at long, long last. I'm very impressed with this bit down here. This new bit. This was empty when we started. This was all empty. Look how much it's come along. Look how much it's come along. There's so much stuff there. What are you complaining about? What are you complaining about? Hang on. What's that? Citizens are sick. Really? Pollution is high. Is it? Hang on. What? Why? Why? I beg to differ. I beg to differ, citizens. <laughs> Pollution is not high just there. Uh, where's, where's health? Just there. This building, for whatever reason, is particularly unhealthy. I don't know why. I mean, maybe you should look at yourselves for that. The Robin residence, your unhealthiness is nothing to do with me. It's nothing to do with me. Maybe you should go out, go on longer walks or something, get yourself some vitamins. I don't know. So yeah, we'll ignore that. That's all fine. So yeah, this bit is slowly taking up. It's it's very slow. It's very slow, but it's getting there. So people are moving in into sort the of dribs and drabs. It's a, yeah, I'd like it to pick up a bit quicker. I don't really know what else we could do do i mean are there any policies that we could do with sort of uh, deploying just to help move things along i mean given the amount of money we get we could put the park maintenance boost on because that will cost hardly anything what does automated sorting do post office sorting facilities we've hardly got any of those so yeah okay that's fine mail capacity increased by 10 percent. we don't really do much with that do you know what why don't we put some of that in where are you? where are you post people is that you postal service why don't we put some of that down here? It creates a tiny bit of noise pollution. Don't really care so much about that. Let's put one of those there. That'll do. That can cover some of that. And then we can have a post sorting facility over there. Why the heck not? Oh, I powered these up. I ran a little sort of uh, series of power lines down there just to get... I mean, I don't know why lungs of the city needs electricity. It looks very much like there's nothing electric there. But there you go. So that's got power as has the great big kind of pyramid ziggurat thingamabobber and these buildings down here as well as so the holly residence and the garland residence they've got power as well We've got some postal sorting stuff going on how are the airports doing 246 passengers oh but garbage is piling up garbage is piling up okay right we need to do something about that then so we could 
we could create a little mini sort of uh, mini area over here. We could have some garbage things and an energy producing thing and a little bit of industry over here, maybe a bit commercial, a bit of residential. Would you want to live under the <laughs> flight path of a plane? Do you know what? Whatever. If it's a house, if it's a roof over your head, you might want to. So I think, yeah, let's look at that. Let's get this bit looked at. So I think the first thing we do is let's put a couple of these in. We'll get some incineration plants in. I know they're not very pretty, but they take care of the garbage and it's all fine. So put those over there. And then also there's a recycling center. Let's get a, let's get a couple of those in, shall we? Let's get one there and one there. Either side of the uh, either side of the little thingamabob there, the uh, underground station. Now those things, when they ping into life, should be providing power. They should be able to power these things up. But at the moment, they've obviously not got any sort of trash in there. So there's nothing for it to burn, so it's not going to actually create any power, but it will do at some point soon, which is encouraging. Right now, we'll just go through, we'll put some industry, some industry, some industry, and a little bit of industry there, there, and there. Then we'll have some commercial stuff like that. We'll put a bit of light commercial on the end. Big commercial there, light commercial there. And then we'll put residential stuff here. Am I allowed to put that there? Is that not going to get in the way of the, the, the aeroplanes? And then, who wants to live near a tunnel? Do you know what all these people do? And let's make this all the self-sufficient housing flim-flam stuff. So we'll bring that in. I think it goes to around there, doesn't it? So across to there, like that. Uh, you know what? Let's level it up to the top of that road. Why not? That looks kind of nice. And there. Okay. Uh, Bedford District is a terrible name. We'll call it Green Mean Recycling Machines, and that has been designated as the self-sufficient housing. So if we move that on now, now if people start moving in, there are going to be a few issues because there is no power. So what we could do is, over this side, let's get ourselves another one of these fantabulous devices. So yeah, we'll put that there because that fits there, and why the heck wouldn't you? And then if we bring this down, I'm just keeping an eye on our population meter. It is creeping up. It's creeping up. It's very exciting. Right, so if we bring that down to there and there and round the back of there. It's it's not very pretty round here at the minute. It's not pretty round here, but that should eventually power those. So that is, what's that there? Mega store. So this bit should hopefully start building up as well. And then we might need to run something over to there as well with power, which is fine. I don't mind so much doing that. There we go. So that thing can now have power. So the underground station can be powered. That will then immediately transfer the power onto you. Why is that not powered? There we go. Splendid. So the Sheffield residence is under construction. More people moving in. We are nearly at megalopolis status. This is very exciting. And you know what? I'm, I'm not bothered about the international airports and the car cargo hub things. I'm not that bothered. I just want to get to a megalopolis on one road, which now does have another end. At least it's a road with two ends now, which I, is, I, is it making a difference? No idea. There's a lot coming in. There's a lot coming in down this end. That's very exciting. So you have the airports at this end. And if you wanted to, you could get... My cat was just saved by a smoke detector. No, that's good. So yeah, if you wanted to, you could get off the plane here and go on the underground. Go and go into the city if you want. Or you could get you hire a car or whatever and go out this way. Drive into the city the other way. But yeah, I mean, if you have to go to somewhere in the middle of the road, if you want to go to Magic Park, <laughs> you've got a long drive. Whichever way you go. Because yeah, that, that's quite a lot of road you've got to go around. That is quite a lot of road. Oh, this little bit here is booming. This little bit here has got so much going on. Lots of things being built. Lots of things being upgraded. It is looking very, very good. Is that for the police headquarters? There's not enough people to work in it. Oh, no, it's just there. <laughs> the convenience store. I thought... Oh, dear. We've got this great big police headquarters and nobody to work in it. But no, that's all fine. So look at this. This has really taken off 83 thousand one hundred forty eight eight three thousand one hundred sixty four it's creeping up people are moving in over here over near our new bit near the airport we've even got some industry in the box factory very important what's that household goods factory that's a bit vague but right you are goods are limited all that kind of stuff so that bit's working as well Look, there's a few you know little sort of new area starting up over there what we might want to do is over there let's just give them some some basic facilities shall we let's just give them some uh what if we put it there in that corner so give them some sort of fire stuff give them a little police station on that corner why not um let's give them some parks as well on this side so how about we give you uh that's a large playground can we give them a small playground oh that's absolutely gargantuan hang on what's that that's a oh, that's a dog park Do you know what whatever dog park yay yay dog park there we go so that should keep all those lot happy no that's not residential is it 
That's not residential. No, so they don't need things over there. They don't need that. We're almost on 84,000 people. 84,000 is on its way. We're nearly on 85,000. And we're not quite heading toward a million. How are the trains? The trains aren't looking very good at all, are they? <laughs> the trains are looking very shambolic indeed. Yeah, that is that is a lot of a lot of stopped trains there. That can't be helping. That can't be helping. That train just vanished out of nowhere. Just to clear the backlog, that train just evaporated into the air. Or we just, I don't know, we cut it apart or something. I don't know. 84,240 people. This bit is working so well. I'm I'm really impressed with this. The Oriental Residence. That looks very little. Very little. But do you know what? That looks lovely. That looks very nice. And quite a few people live there. Quite a few people. Seven, seven people live there. Four adults and three young adults. Do you know what? That might be plausible. That might be plausible. One on each. You know, that could be one one floor with one great big apartment on it. it might be quite fancy pants uh, okay right come on 84,622 with these might be the ones that tip it over the line the green mean recycling machines the elm residence people are going to move into that let's have a look how many people move into the elm residence it's taking its time crikey thought they didn't clean all the windows as they go down and no one in there at the moment nothing happening we're nearly there <laughs> 84,842 this is silly. Oh, it went down. It went down. That's not good enough. No, don't go downwards. 84,885. We need just over 100 people to become a megalopolis on a city which is on one road. Which is very, very silly indeed. And uh, it, it's going to happen. It, here we go. Here we go. 85,003 people. Give me my ticker tape parade. Where's the thing? There it is. <laughs> yes. Hey. <laughs> We've done it. A megalopolis sized city. On one road. On one road. We get to the unique buildings and stuff like that. Yeah, we yeah, we can do some of these maybe, but I'm not going to bother doing those. I still think this is a weird one. I still think this is weird. Grand Central Station. Everyone loves trains, but the Grand Central Terminal Train Museum in your city. To give citizens tourists an interesting place to visit. All about trains. Everyone loves trains. What do you have to do to build Grand Central Station, which is predominantly concerned with trains? Fill up seven cemeteries. Yeah, really? <laughs> Why is that linked in any way? Why is the amount of people in cemeteries linked to trains? I don't know. But there we go. Monuments and things. We can't do any of those, but we got to it. We got to 85,000 people and it's climbing. It's still climbing. 85,025, 85,042. It's still going up. And all this has yet got to fill in. And then we could, I mean, that, I've just realized that's it. We can't, we can't do any more. That's, that's, that's what the city is going to look like. I kind of hadn't really considered that until just then. That is what it's going to look like. We can't add any more road. We can't just go, oh, I'll build a bit over here. Because cause that's the one road we've got. So everything we've built along here and along here, I'm not going to do that now. I, I'm quite happy that we've got to 85,000 people. And it's still rising. It's still going up. And there we go. What started out as a, as a silly thing from a friend of mine that said, I bet you can't build a city on one road. Is, is that doable? Do you think that would work? Well, do you know what? There you go, friend of mine. Behold. Behold this city with 85,381 people in it already. 414. It's going up ludicrously. So behold this. Yes, you can indeed build a city in city skylines on one road. And yeah, okay, it's got its flaws. It's got its flaws primarily with with uh, garbage collection and corpse collection. They seem to be the main problems. And yeah, occasionally sort of goods... These kind of came up a bit of a problem, didn't they? Not enough buyers and stuff. It was very important to get those outside connections in, like the trains and the boats and stuff. But um, that's it. That is it. Now, if, it have, if I'd have been slightly, <laughs> slightly thinking ahead, down here, I could have bought this bit of land uh, just here, where we put the water things, and built a big bit of road going down there, and then going like that, and coming straight back and carrying on. And if I'd have done that, we could have tacked some airports on there. Now, in, in theory, I could, I could pause the game, Knock this bit down, take that bit of road out, run it down there, back up, back like that, stick some airports there, and it would all be lovely. But I'm, I'm not going to. I don't want to. I want to leave this bit. That's our original boundary. That's our original sort of whatever that is, southern border. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. And we could do that. We could put airports in. There's a lot that we could do. We're on 86,000 people. <laughs> 86,000 people. Well done, city. So that is it. The long and straight road city is done. Hang on. Where's the. Uh, Where's the lovely, the cinematic thing? Let's do that. Um, so yeah, there we go. There we go. It's all done. It's all done. And we're focusing on the roof of a very odd house there. 
I'm I'm very pleased with that. I'm really happy that we got there, and I'm amazed because at one point I thought we'd we peaked. That building is on fire. Camera, do not focus on the burning building. <laughs> Of all the buildings, the entire city, a city of 85,000 people, and one of the buildings you go to is one that's on fire. Oh, cinematic camera, you've let me down there. That's a good shot. That is a very good shot. Look at that, all the low density stuff. Can I put that in as well? I wanted a mix of things. There's the university and a great big industrial district as well. But that's fine. You know, all the choking smog and stuff that we can just about see through. <laughs> don't show this bit either. Show some beautiful bits. No, don't show the cargo hub either. This is all too busy. Show some beautiful parks or something. Come on, cinematic camera. Come on. Next one, show us something good. Oh, there was that train thing that we struggled with. There you go. This is industry again, but it's forestry industry at least. That's nice. Look, lovely forestry stuff that worked. Took a long while for that forestry area to pick up, but it did work. There we go. A bit of a commercial area as well. And yeah, so the only thing we really, we struggled with the dead people and the uh, getting the goods in. There was a little bit of a crisis at one point with goods, wasn't there? But then uh, I, I think it's worked very, very well. It started off small. Then we've got yeah, we've got bigger. We expanded to other squares. We then threw in a load of the fancy buildings, a load of the uh, sort of tourist grabbing buildings. And then tourists just came in by the hundreds. Those boats were full each time. The trains were full each time. There were so many tourists. The planes, the planes brought in like 200 tourists at a time. So yeah, it's worked very well. Look at that. That's the new bit. That's the new bit we just put in. It looks very good. Look at that. It looks all very lovely indeed. And yeah, let's come out of this now. Let's come out of that. How do we come out of the thing? There we go. So yeah, that's that's come on quite well. And that bit is slowly picking up. That is slowly picking up. But you know what? That That's it. We've, we've got to leave. We've got to leave our one road city because we're, we're done. We are finished. We've proven that it can be done. And, and you know, if we wanted to, we could get this going. We could just keep this going for a long, long, long time. That could go up to 100,000 people, I bet. If we put stuff along here, built this bit up, because that's all completely empty, built that bit, put some stuff around here, maybe even build along that side of the road. So it's not near the blimp thing, but this side of the road, make some nice houses along there. We could easily, I think, get that up to 100,000 people. But do you know what? We'll, we'll pretend that's happening. We'll imagine that's happening, because we are going to finish up for now. I'm, I'm quite proud. <laughs> I like it here. Apart from all the corpses, I like it here. It's it's lovely. I'd live out here, I think. I'd live out near the sea. It looks nice. You've got all the exciting things down here. This is when we could afford to buy all the fancy buildings. So they all went down here. Over here has got a few. It's got a smattering of fancy buildings. You've got the tower. But yeah, most of the nice buildings are down here. So I'd live down here somewhere. I'd live on that bit. This new bit, I think. It's got lots of woods. It looks very lovely. But there we go. It's done. You can build in city skylines a city along one road and get it to the maximum in-game size. That's not the right button. That's the right button. A megalopolis. We have done it. It is achievable. And there we go. It is an actual thing that you can do. And it takes a bit of effort, but we got there in the end. And that's it. We are done. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did enjoy this video or the or the series as a whole, I hope you've enjoyed it if you have been watching it. And I hope you've uh, you've maybe you've learned some stuff, you've thought of some stuff to try, maybe you've been frustrated by stuff <laughs> my ineptitude, in which case I apologize. But whatever the case, if you've had fun, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other stuff that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the long and straight road city in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. This sports car is indeed illegal. You clearly couldn't see the sign saying no cars. I have found the place where I'm going to live forever. The Tea and Biscuits Cafe. I want to rename the dog. Uh, let's call it uh, Waffles. Waffles McBark. Behold the power of the blimp.